you can't really talk about current events without talking about AI. Isn't that true, Randy? I, I think in the 2025, that is true. It's the world we're in. Well, you know, one of the things you and my wife agree on is that I should be doing very little to name things in marketing. And I've been joking with her for, for, for years. I've been saying you can't spell uh, blockchain without AI. And that was always our kind of like inside joke about stupid dad jokes that I made. But, it you know, where it used to be 3D printing and then blockchain, AI has really... Uh, delivered on the promises uh, in a lot of ways already that to kind of in, innovate and disrupt, bi- well, not just business, but really life as we know it, similar to the way the internet did. Yeah, I I think it's going to I think it's going to do that more quickly than the internet. I think it's already doing it way more quickly than the internet, and we're still in the early adoption phase of where we're at. Most people are either not using it, or I think there's a lot of people using it, but using it at a pretty low level. But, but we're already seeing massive impact. I know because you know one of my sons is in college right now. He's a junior. And I was talking to my wife about internships. And a lot of large companies just don't have the same number of internships they have. There aren't the same number of jobs. And one of the things I hear consistently is it's going to take people, you know, human-in-the-loop systems. But that means humans have to be domain experts. And one of the concerns that I have is how do you train someone to be a domain expert if the entry-level jobs aren't available. 